Welcome back. It's now 614 on your Tuesday. Moving on to our morning business report. Ford is recalling hundreds of thousands of SUVs. Uh-oh. So which ones need to be checked out? Channel 3's Jane King is live in New York with that answer. Good morning, Jane. Hi, Wendell on Nicole. Good morning to a Ford. Recalled about 800,000 Explore SUVs. They were made between 2013 and 2017 due to a crash risk. Now, the company also recalled select 2020 and 21 Lincoln Aviator and F-350 as Super Duty pickup trucks. Six allegations of in injury have been connected to these potential defects in the Ford Explorer. So the majority of the impacted vehicles are in North America and in locations that have cold weather, high humidity, Humidity, as well as the use of road salt. Well, Social Security recipients are on track in North America to receive the biggest cost of living raise in four decades, driven by a sharply rebounding economy and a surge in inflation we've seen that has been associated with that. The Senior Citizens League estimates the adjustment could be as high as 6.1 percent. Now, the Social Security Administration will do their calculations for next year's checks in October. And home builder confidence has dipped to an 11-month low. Builders say they're dealing with the rising cost of materials as well as a worker shortage. And in fact, the Associated Builders and Contractors say the U.S. needs one million construction workers right now. Well, the Dow had its worst drop in a year yesterday, down more than 700 points. Rising COVID cases, worries about the economy, all hitting things at once. In fact, it was the airlines of stocks that would be the hardest hit if there would be more restrictions. They led things to the downside yesterday. Today looks like we'll open 200 higher. Live from New York, I'm Jane King. Back to you.